Hey, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education, and today we are continuing our college rivalry series with the clash of the STEM titans, MIT versus Caltech, talking about the three best pranks in the rivalry, roll titles. The rivalry between MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Caltech, the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California, is arguably not a super traditional college rivalry for a few reasons. Number one, it's not really a sports rivalry at all. They don't really compete with each other in sports that much. Uh, number two, unlike some of our other famous rivalries, Harvard versus Yale, USC versus UCLA, UNC versus Duke, they're not really close to each other at all. In fact, they're on opposite coasts 3,000 miles away from each other. So why is there a rivalry? Well, in large part because these are two of the best science, tech, and math universities on the planet and even though they're on opposite coasts they're constantly competing and their students who are some of the smartest most intelligent most creative students in the world have found a lot of ways to get under each other's skin in a very lighthearted and exciting prank war so today we're breaking down the top three pranks starting with number one the MIT Caltech rivalry prank war arguably started in April of 2005 during MIT's campus preview weekend for prospective freshmen. Caltech students really committed. They flew the 3,000 miles to get to Cambridge, Massachusetts to MIT's campus and they pulled a series of different pranks throughout the weekend. One of the first things that they did is during a number of fairs for prospective freshmen, uh, they circulated over 400 MIT t-shirts or so it seemed. The t-shirts that they handed out said MIT on the front, but then when the students put them on on the back, it said, because not everyone can get into Caltech, featuring a palm tree that of course can be found in Pasadena, California, but not in Cambridge, Massachusetts. That was one aspect of the pranks from the weekend. They also managed to write the letters Caltech in green lasers on MIT's famous green building. These students also released 100 orange balloons, orange of course being the color of Caltech, as well as a blimp with the letters CIT, I guess California Institute of Technology as opposed to MIT, a uh, blimp in one of um, and above one of MIT's most famous buildings. And it took MIT students quite a long time to get that blimp down. So that's what kicked off the prank war in the year 2005. Uh, and MIT students really struck back in our second prank that we're talking about, which happened in 2006. And that is, of course, the Fleming Cannon Heist. On Caltech's campus, there was a 130-year-old and 1.7 tons, so that's what, three, over 3,000 pounds, Fleming Cannon. On March 28th of 2006, the 1.7 ton famous Fleming Cannon on Caltech's campus disappeared from campus. How did that happen? MIT students posed as construction contractors, removed the cannon from campus and convinced campus security that they were in fact construction contractors, got it in a truck and drove it 3,000 miles all the way back to Cambridge, Massachusetts to MIT's campus where they put it on full display. There were some hiccups along the way, right? There were noise complaints as they were get as they were moving it. Their trailer broke partway along the way. And then once they finally got it to Massachusetts, to MIT's campus, they actually had to spend an extra thousand dollars hiring a company that specializes in moving large film props to actually get it out of the trailer on, on display on campus. But at the end of the day, they moved the Fleming Cannon from one coast to the other where it stayed on display at MIT for some time. Caltech students eventually got the massive cannon back. Uh, they dispatched some students uh, across the coast. I think they tried to get rid of it with a helicopter, which didn't work, that was illegal. Uh, eventually they got it back. Um, and when they did arrive to, uh, to bring the cannon back to campus, uh, some MIT students were waiting for them with a massive barbecue. Apparently they replaced the large cannon with a much smaller uh, miniature toy cannon with a note reading, here's something a little more your size. That's the second prank. The following year, 2007, for this third prank, Caltech struck back again when they uh, published and fully distributed a completely fake version of MIT's newspaper on MIT's campus. 
The newspaper entitled The Tech had such headlines as uh, Math Department Hires Rising Star Matt Damon, which is of course a reference to uh, Goodwill Hunting, as well as talking about MIT's famous Infinite Corridor not actually being infinite. Actually, you know what? We're uh, gonna have a fourth one. Fourth prank. <laughs> Jump forward a few years to 2010 and some MIT students placed a TARDIS, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Doctor Who fans, a TARDIS time machine on top of the roof of Baxter Hall at Caltech. Um, basically every year there's been back and forth pranks like this on certain campus weekends. Um, uh, all in the spirit of good fun, science, and technology. Hey there, it's Sam Clark from like five minutes into the future from when I originally filmed this video. Um, I did make a mistake earlier when I talked about how uh, MIT pranksters put, uh, uh, put a TARDIS time machine from Doctor Who um, on the roof of Baxter Hall at Caltech. Apparently they attempted to do that. Uh, but were foiled by Caltech security, where Caltech security had previously uh, failed to catch bandits during the cannon heist. Uh, but then, apparently, the following year, same academic year, following calendar year, um, Caltech and MIT students cooperated together to place this TARDIS time machine on the roof. Working together for pranks and good fun. So those are just some of the pranks between these two STEM titans on opposite coasts. Uh, if you want to learn more about more college rivalries, about tips for getting into the college of your dreams, about day in the life profiles of impressive students at top universities all around the world, click that subscribe button. We're posting videos every single week. And if you want to take the first step towards getting into the school of your dreams, whether that's MIT, Caltech, or something in between, uh, click the link below and you'll get in contact with uh, one of Crimson's academic advisors who will walk you through uh, what the college admissions process entails, what your chances are, and how you can maximize the possibility of getting into your dream university. Again, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education. Catch you next time. I really should watch Doctor Who.